Hello, and welcome to another edition of CUDAcasts. In this video, I will show you how to use a new feature in CUDA 5.5 Inside Eclipse Edition to explore device memory contents for a running CUDA application. I will be using the CUDA SDK matrix multiplication sample as our demo code. Now I've already set a breakpoint in the device code. I'm going to compile using the hammer drop-down menu and compile the debug version. And I'll start debugging using the handy toolbar icon. Now at this point it broke initially at the main function, so we're going to go ahead and resume. And you can see now that it's broken at our breakpoint in the device code. In the top right corner, there is a variables view that shows local variables visible at the current location in the code. Now if you want to see a large view of the variables window, we can move it, for example, over here. Now the leftmost column shows the variable name. The middle, middle column shows the type and the location in memory. And finally, the third column shows the variable value for the given thread and block shown in the title. For pointers, we can even see the value pointed at by expanding the tree node. To view more than one value, say for an array, we can display the pointer as an array by using the pop-up menu. You right-click on the variable and select Display as Array. Say, for example, we want to see 10 elements. We can now see all 10 elements, the first 10 elements pointed at by that array pointer. Now a more direct way to explore the device memory is by using the memory view. By default, the memory view is docked at the bottom of the insight window. To show a memory location, we need to add a memory monitor for the memory we're interested in. We're going to click the green plus button. We can either enter an expression or a memory space and address. In this case, I'm going to do shared memory starting at address 0. By default, the memory view will show contents of the device memory as hexadecimal values. However, Insight provides a number of other renderings that can be used. So let's view the shared memory as a floating point. So we click New Renderings, and I'm going to choose Floating Point. And now you can see our values as floating point renders. Another way to reveal memory contents at a given location is by using a pop-up menu in the Variables window. So say I wanted to look at variable A in the memory view, I right-click and do View Memory. Again, it shows up as hex. If I want to see it as, say, a signed integer, I can do that. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching this edition of CUDACasts.